What film was the blockbuster hit of 1982 that surpassed Star Wars to become the highest grossing film of all time for 11 years straight? Here's a hint. It tells the story of a boy who befriends an extraterrestrial who is stranded on Earth and needs to get back home. If you haven't figured it out yet, it's E.T. E.T. is considered one of the greatest films of all time. I know I think it is. I fell in love with the movie at 10 years old when I saw it in the summer of 1982. I laughed and cried as I watched the friendship and connection grow deep between a little boy named Elliot and an alien named E.T. In the movie, Elliot and his siblings, along with their friends, experience all sorts of adventures hiding E.T. from the government while helping him phone home so he can hopefully get back home. And it works. But Elliot begins feeling what E.T. feels. We see their hearts become connected. There are agents in hazmat suits. E.T. and Elliot seem to be dying. The chrysanthemums wilt. It gets intense. But... In the end, E.T. is able to go home. There was a recent holiday reunion of E.T. and Elliot, which was cute and totally brought back lots of memories. I was reminded of the final scene in the movie when E.T. was about to leave Earth to go home. He and Elliot had been through so much in such a short time. In these heart-tugging final moments, E.T. lights up his fingertip and tells Elliot, I'll be right here. I could almost cry thinking about it. This scene was one of movie maker Steven Spielberg's most emotional endings. The spacecraft takes off, tears are falling, the musical score is blaring, it's powerful. Now, as an adult, when I look back on the final scene, those words, I'll be right here, resonate in my heart. With those words, there was assurance that Elliot wouldn't ever be alone, and somehow, in some way, E.T. would always be with him. Isn't that something we all long for? We don't want to be alone. Remember what Jesus said? Not long after his death and resurrection, Jesus gathered his disciples, gave them the Great Commission, and in those final moments before he ascends into the heavens and he takes his seat at the right hand of God, he tells his friends he had journeyed this earth with, I am with you always. I can only imagine that moment. We don't need movie magic to know that we are never alone. That's assurance in my darkest moments that I don't have to be afraid and that the Lord is with me. You are not alone today. God is with you. Listen to these truths. Joshua 1.9, the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Isaiah 41.10, fear not for I am with you. Deuteronomy 31, 6, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. And I love Zephaniah 3, 17, the Lord your God is in your midst. He is mighty to save. Jesus is God with us. And because I believe that, I can live each day knowing he isn't out of reach or somewhere out there in a galaxy far, far away, or that I have to create some contraption to communicate with him. I know he is right here. That's the truth. Believe it today and trust you are never alone. I'm Lori Klein.